what's up everyone I'm here in my office as you can see I am uh, gonna throw a little thing a little something a little knowledge out there for you uh, kind of talk about a couple things um, that I've already got done this morning uh, so as you can see right now I got my cannula on I am doing my oxygen treatment the Valkion singlet oxygen treatment I'm not going to get into the weeds on the benefits of this right now uh, because uh, I already know and I got research to back up it's helped me stay immune healthy in these trying times and 100% of all of my people who come to this office or I go to their house well there's one couple I don't but everyone else yeah um, they get oxygenated and if you come in my office I pulse your lungs so immunity is quite strong with us and that's then whatever um, if you want to call it whatever nutritional considerations for immune health if you want to take um, which I'll, I'll be discussing in another video at another time but while I was doing this I wanted to throw out here uh, throw this out there to you if you're living with a spinal cord injury and you are concerned with your neurologic tone be it flexor tone or extensor tone um, there are multiple ways you can go about dealing with it. One is the standard way with the back of the pump and, and surgically inserting in you. Um, another way is the taking orally back within up to what, 120 milligrams a day. Um, you know, as a project walk specialist, as a next step Atlanta specialist or, or, or NRN trained specialist to whatever degree you want to place on that, um, we didn't discourage the use of it, but we explained the physiology of what was happening with it. So if you're taking that stuff and you have to take that stuff, great. Um, you're taking it because your medical doctor said it or your PT said it or there are reps for the back uh regime that go around and say, hey, you need to take this if you want to control your spasms. Well, I have another answer, another solution. Um, I'm physically demonstrating it presently with my clients and I'm going to post a video with this one um, that shows the, the, the extreme nature of how well my method is working. So last year, March 2019, Pulse Centers loaned me a high intensity pulse device to do a case study with. I showed certain outcomes with my clients after a month and uh, medical doctors call it anecdotal, but to the people who I influenced, Nah, that was powerful. One of those benefits was reduction in tone and spasticity. So, one of my clients who comes routinely now, she has extreme flexor tone. I mean extreme, like she's in a sitting position, her body, when you take her out the wheelchair, she's laying in a seated position, the fetal position. She is laying flex at the hips, flex at the knees, favor, as we call it in massage. She is flex, flex, flexed. You try to straighten her, she's hypersensitive. So she's, you know, she's a T-level incomplete, and she's hypersensitive. So you touch her and the muscles pull. And then when you try to straighten them, it's pulling on her abdomen so damn hard, it's taking the breath out of her. It, it, it's, it's like she's, you know, you know, I'm looking, I'm like, you're not, you okay? You like breathe, you know, I don't wanna have to do CPR. So, I mean, I will, I'm a CPR instructor, but that's beside the point. Um, so I said, hey, let me pulse your abdomen while you do your oxygen. So when you come in my office, the first thing you do in your appointment is I break out your canola tube and I have you do your 15 minute set breathing session. Which again, single oxygen suppresses. Ooh, do I say it? Because they will take it off. YouTube already tried to ping me once. Same on Instagram. Yes, yeah, single oxygen kills viruses. Research it, look it up. It's not anecdotal, it does work. So, anyhow, um, that's not what this video is about. I reduced her tone and spasticity in a 20 minute. I'm not even 20 minutes, 15. Um, the pulse is in two minute increments, so 14. 14 minute increments. I did a 14 minute increment while she was sitting in her wheelchair. And so when I lay her on my table, flat on her back, supine, her legs will go to straighten out without her abdomen contracting to take her breath away. That means the change in length of the muscles that neurologic tone, neurologic tissue likes to uh, hate I simply calmed it completely down to where I could then work with her legs. Um, 
doing other techniques. So what was the second thing I did? So I got her on her back. I laid the pulse mat again for a second session, 20 minutes on her abdomen, and then her legs straightened, and then I slid them down to her hips to get her hip flexors and quads. Now, while that was running on her, I did use my Scanar device. Why don't my class come to the door? I used my Scanar device on a high intensity, um, a four-way splitter, ran pads on her quads like I would Easter. And I ran this thing all the way up to its full power. And that, and then I had it pulse. I had it, I set it, the modulation of it to two to one. So that calmed her legs down to where you can see in the video or in the uh, pictures that I took with it. Um, her laying straight with nothing under her other than just a pad she was laying on flat behind me. So again, inside the first 30 minutes of her session, I calmed her tone completely down that it wasn't taking her breath away, that I could then use, the, use what was left to start to train specific movements. So once I saw that she was laying straight, well, here's the backstory. The last time she was here, her last session on Friday, I went to stand her up and her tone, her flexor tone, would now allow her legs to straighten, would now allow her hips to press forward. Therefore, she couldn't get straight, so she overworked her arms trying to pull up. And basically, I mean, I'm talking, I'm pulling, I'm on her knees. I put my shoulder in her hips to help drive her up, and it wasn't going nowhere. So, and you guys know, you know, if you, if you, if you know me, then you know I've worked with 300 plus pound men that I've gotten to stand. So, like, I couldn't get her legs straight. So I was like, okay, we're going to attack this differently. So I did that today, and it worked. So then we took it a step further, turned her face down, prone, on her stomach. Guess what? I posed her glutes. The glutes are passive ex were passively, the muscles were pulsed. They were exercised. Tick, 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 tick. They were exercised. The mu her body was flattened. Back. Okay, then she was able to posture up into cobra stretch. Huh. Again, extreme flexor tone from her spinal injury. And now we're post an hour, but before two hours, and she's able to posture up without discomfort, without losing the breath, without any pain that she can feel from the muscles contracting excessively, she got into that position. Then, hey, just for giggles, I said, hey, let's see the hamstrings. Let's see, you got leg movement. Let's work on those hamstrings. Guess what? We figured out today that both hamstrings are innervated and she can contract the muscle. She's now the second person in the past two months, second in two months with a spinal injury who had turned her hamstrings on using the pulse. Yeah, I did that. So neurotransmitter activity, because when you're pulsing, the pulse electromagnetic field therapy is doing what? It's enhancing neurotransmitter excitation. It's helping with bone density. It's helping with circulation. It's helped calm inflammation. It's helped doing all these things. Cellular health. I looked up at the poster. Alleviating pain and reducing inflammation. Reducing inflammation. Stimulate tissue healing, strengthen bones. Relieve injury fatigue. Support neurotransmitter balance. Reduce stress and increase relaxation. Achieve a deeper, more restorative sleep. Hey, I post my wife on Friday. I did a neural pathway to her pain. I went from brain, trunk, each hip, low back, and she slept one of the best nights of sleep that she's had. She slept in till 10 a.m. Saturday morning. I post on Friday night. I sleep in when I post myself, or I sleep late, later than I normally do. She normally is wide awake by six, seven o'clock. She slept easily till 10. So, yeah, it's working. So, the moral of the story is this. I am helping people to achieve new balance with their bodies and the main thing is um, <clears throat> paired with activity-based therapy, it's working. It's getting some good outcomes. The outcomes that we want as an exercise physiologist doing this anywhere in the world. So I'm not bucking the system. I'm not competing with anyone because it ain't a competition, not to me. It's me helping people who go to anywhere, any place, to get any therapy from anyone, 
we're all practitioners and we all can eat in this world and not have to worry about who did what and why and who said what, when and why and who, who, I don't need to beef with no one to say, hey, look, I can perform for the people, for my end user. So I can care less what somebody else has to say. My performance for my clients is what matters. So anybody else who disagrees, we'll talk to the client who's getting success. So, and even a client who's unhappy, hey, you know, I come with, I, I clarify my, I manage my expectations of people. I don't tell you something that's not true. I don't tell you something that's not gonna happen in a timely, time, a timely fashion. And I'm here to support you being healthy. Live your life in your chair if that's what you're gonna do. And if you're not, and you wanna get out, great, we're gonna help with that too. But the idea is if we can't create a neurologically competent internal environment inside the body through nutrition, through brain health, through cellular health, then keep on doing the same thing you're doing, not getting the result that you're hoping for. Then, you know, you got ask the questions, challenge it. My peers, I challenge you, challenge me. Bring it, because I got the research to back it up and we can have the intellectual discussion to explain the whole thing. And I promise you will walk away more aware, that's for sure, and uh, if you choose not to use it in a practice, that's fine. I'm gonna to continue to do so because it's getting people results across the board. I'm working on elite athletes, one going into the NFL, leaving next month, and another um, that's an Olympic sprinter that's going to compete in the next Olympics in the 200 or 400. Right now, I mean, I got bigger uh, figure competitors too. So they're just getting on the stage before the end of the year. So. I'm working on pro athletes in multiple capacities and they're all getting the results they want and they're placing first and they're placing in the top top three top five of their in their ranks and in, uh, in their competition so yeah i'm gonna honk my horn a little bit because it's about my clients so ask the questions don't sit idle and please by all means um engage in this conversation because uh we we gotta we gotta step it up for for our people because too many, too many people are being disenfranchised by what already exists. So let's change that. You know, that's pioneer that. You know, let's not let's take the standard quo and change it. Because that's what I'm doing. That's what I've done. Hey, it's Tony Davenport, Kinetic Touch Medical Massage. Okay, is this a stretch to the quad? Mm -hmm. Okay, push it down for me. Push it down, push it down, push it down. Good. Easy work. Pick it up. Let's see what you got. Pull it up there. Pull it up there. Pull it up there. It, it, it's integrated. It, it's kind of get there. Okay. Pull it up. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Keep pulling. Okay. All right. Push it down. Bam. Control. Control. That's it. All right. Let's give it a stimulus. Lift that hamstring. Lift it. Keep going. Keep lifting. Breathe. Lift. Breathe and lift. Come on, come on, there we go. Bring it, bring it. Come on, it's coming up, it's coming up. Good, and relax. Take a breath, take a breath. Oh, oh that's why I wanted to help out this time. Oh, you know, <laughs> now you want to help out. Okay, push your leg down. Drive, drive, drive. There you go, easy work. Okay, lift it. Lift it, lift it, lift it. Come on, come on. Get on up there. It's coming. Come on, that tone trying to get in the way. Uh -huh. Lift it, lift it. Coming up, it's coming up. Okay, push it down. Quad, quad, quad. Good. Nice little lockout. Good. Okay, one more. Lift that leg. There it is. Pull it up, pull it up. Getting higher each time. Pull it up, pull it up. That's it. That's it. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Push it down. There you go. That's the money shot. Ooh, good job, Mom. You got both legs. Really? Yes.